What's up everybody, I'm Finn McKenty. This is my second channel and this is your home for my Twitch highlights and my podcast. So if you like this and you wanna see more of that and you wanna join the live streams, there's a link to that in the description of this video. And with that out of the way, this is Marigold by Chunk, no Captain Chunk. And for anybody who is not familiar, let's just do a quick little recap on Chunk, no Captain Chunk. Not the first band to do Easy Core, AKA pop punk with breakdowns, but I think everybody would agree that they did it better than anybody else. Like this is the quintessential Easy Core song. I would say this is the best Easy Core song of all time. This is In Friends We Trust, AKA Hey Dudes Are You Ready To? From back in 2010. All time classic. If you're wondering, wow, this kind of seems like an American backyard party, but something is, Something's not right about this. The reason why is that they are French. What a riff. I miss this era so much. This might be like my favorite era of music. The transition between scene and like Tumblr kind of core was maybe my favorite era of music. I have so many fond memories of that era. And this song is one of the very best songs of that whole time. Okay, guys, this video is American Backyard Party video. Please, my friends, do your best to be American. Look, the girl in the fight fair shirt. Another great band of that era. This drum fill coming up is one of my favorite of all time. Very simple, but I just love it. So catchy and it's so wholesome. I mean, it's a little, a little odd, you know, squirting in your friend's mouth here like this. Only in France, my friends, only in France. Hey, did you bring the beer? No, but we've got white wine. Okay, close enough. We're in France. Hey dudes, are you ready to? There we go. So that was the world's introduction to Chunk No Captain Chunk back in 2010. You can see this video got 5.7 million views, which is a lot for a band like this. They did put out another album after that, uh, Pardon My French, which is very good. But I don't know, just for whatever reason, it feels like that was like the best song they ever did. Like they really kind of never lived up to what I was hoping they would be. Like I was hoping they would be the next A Day to Remember or something like that. Their other songs are certainly good, but just for whatever reason, they were never really able to recapture that magic. Um, I don't know if they officially broke up, but they definitely went away for a few years. Now they are back. I mean, I guess they came back last year or something like that. But in any case, they have a new song called Marigold. And what we're all wondering is, will they recapture the magic of Hey Dudes, Are You Ready To? Let's listen and find out. Well, look, I don't mean to be negative, but anytime a song starts out with an acoustic intro, I'm always on guard because that means that it could be a meaningful, heartfelt ballad about growing up and all the difficult lessons we learned along the way. I hope that's not what this is. I'm hoping that we will get Hey Dudes, Are You Ready To Part 2. Okay, There's some genting. Uh-oh. We've got an organ or some sort of like Moog synth or something like that, acoustic guitars. I'm afraid that this is gonna be heartfelt and mature. You know, when people say mature as mature, it's always a warning sign too. I remember I had a teacher that say that, like, please, can we just be a little bit more mature? Whatever I search hard to find, I've already found it with you. I will say Bert's vocals, or at least his English pronunciation has gotten a lot better, which I always felt was one of the things that held them back. I'm not saying that's right or wrong. It's just a reality that most Americans are not going to listen to something with a French accent. And it was kind of hard to understand what he was saying. And he's certainly come a long way there. Well, I can understand everything he's saying, which is uh, definitely was not true of some of their older stuff. So that's cool. Here we go. Now I saw a jazz master, a Mustang or something there, which normally if I see any sort of 
you know, old fashioned guitar, grunge guitar like that, I'm fucking out. But for Chunk, I will make an exception because I love them so much. And you know what's not a 2000s metalcore video because you've got this girl in a button up shirt wandering around on the beach. But if they wanted to make a 2000s video, it would have been a pretty girl in a white dress wandering around in the woods. So we have moved on. Now, my friends, it's all about girls in a white Oxford wandering on the beach. That's nice. You know, one of the things that was missing from a lot of their songs is like memorable hooky lines in the lyrics other than, hey dudes, are you ready to? And I feel like with this, they've kind of gotten some of that. I like that. This is like that kind of vocal hook I was looking for. I like those tiles. This like pretty like uh, Spanish type tiles. What is the symbolism of the dishes? That's what I want to know. They're panning the, the dishes on the wall here. What are they trying to say? You see, I'm no good at deciphering symbolism. I told you they're all mismatched. Maybe that's it. Now I need to do a uh, four and a half hour long chunk iceberg video where I dissect the lore behind all the shots in this video. And th this is like, uh, you remember back in the 80s and 90s, like every band did a video of this, like Metallica had the one, you know, where they're in the studio working so hard for months as the pages of the calendar turn by, you know, we're just, uh, we're giving it everything we've got in the studio to make our magnum opus, our rock opera. Well, I hope that this song in, in this video is an indication that Chunk is working on the world's first easy core opera. That's what I want, an easy core concept album about pizza and having Omri Khan style backyard party videos. It's a nice little uh, lead there. If you listen in your uh, right ear, there's some nice little, some jazzy leads. I feel like there's going to be a Jawa raider wagon coming up over that hill right or maybe boba fett will like jetpack in here and shoot her with his blaster that's right they've matured out of partying now they appreciate nature and doing dishes i don't even hear the sense he's like pounding away on this uh, Moog or whatever it is. I don't hear the synths at all. Am I wrong? I don't hear the acoustic either. This reminds me of those scenes in some movie where the main character, Lindsay Lohan or something, is playing in a band and she's supposed to be like the singer and she's like strumming along on a guitar like this, like completely out of tune with the song or when there's a drummer like banging on an acoustic kit even though there's no acoustic drums in the song. I agree with this. If you can have synths in the video, you got to make the sense the loudest thing like a poorly mixed easy core 2011 warp tour set exactly i mean how can you have easy core that's mixed this well easy core sounded like shit and we liked it that way okay this part is nice i'm generally skeptical of acoustic anything but this part is nice you can cut right through the darkness you light up the room i like these lyrics i i feel like this is a love song i don't know but the song definitely has feels I like these lyrics a lot. It's nice. That's nice. You know, a lot of bands, when they say that they have matured, really what that just means is they're boring. But when a band actually has matured, what that means is they're writing or talking about things that you don't feel when you're young that you do feel when you're older. For example, you know, falling in love with somebody that maybe you want to spend the rest of your life with. I'm not a fan of it when bands quote unquote mature, in other words, get boring. What I am a fan of is when bands actually do become more mature and write about things that are a little bit more nuanced and adult, I would guess. Like Whitechapel did that more recently. So I feel like this fits into that category. There's no I don't know, but it feels like they're talking about, you know, in a relationship, how you resolve an argument, which is like <laughs> the least pop punk topic of all time of like, 
hey, let's have a calm, reasonable discussion so that we can put this behind us and move on. Not very pop punk, but you know, that's, this is important shit. And if that is what they're talking about, I'm a fan of that because, you know, there's this narrative that relationships should be hard or something. And I don't think that's true. The, you know, tortured love kind of thing. It's not how it should be. If you're with the right person and you were the right person, it shouldn't be hard to be in a relationship. That's right. It's pop punk. So maybe he's just gaslighting. That's true. Maybe he's just gaslighting and maybe he's just explaining why he cheated on her with her sister. Who knows? Relationships are tough at times and require vulnerability, honesty, and understanding. And I think that's what this is talking about. I agree. And I think that's a really cool topic if, if so. I like this. This is good. This song definitely has some feels. I don't understand the symbolism of this video. I don't understand the ditches. I don't know why this house is on fire. But I will say that what it seems like this song is about um, is, you know, kind of what I said before. This is like, to me, the rare example of a pop punk band maturing in a way that actually does feel more mature, meaning dealing with topics that, you know, aren't relatable to most people when you're 18, but maybe when you're 30, they are relatable. That's what it seems like. This seems like a love song um, instead of like, oh, I've got a crush on the girl at the Orange Julius stand at the mall food court, which don't get me wrong, I love those. But this feels like sort of the next evolution of that of like, I've been in a relationship with this person for years, maybe we're going to get married, something like that, like a, a serious long term relationship. And how do we kind of navigate a difficult time? That's what it seems like this is about. Um, and certainly how it makes me feel. And as somebody that values my wife and our relationship more than anything, um, that's what it made me think of. And I got to say, I'm pleasantly surprised with this because usually when a pop punk band matures, that means they're going to get boring. But this song is fucking good. I like it. I wasn't sure where it was headed. Um, but I'm a fan. I got to listen to the rest of this album. I'm happy to see them back. Hope they're doing well. And I think I can speak for all of us when I say, hey, dudes, are you ready to? Yes, we are. We are ready to.